Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to welcome you to the Carroll Center, uh, to uh, the lecture hall, and to the Winter Wonderland that's all around us. But let me stop introducing myself. I'm Mike Vesta, uh, the new president of the Carroll Center. I still get to say that currently, at least for seven more months. Um, but it's very special that we're gathered here today because in this building, uh, our tech center, the, the Rachel Rosenbaum uh, Technology Center, uh, we are celebrating uh, a really exciting milestone. It's an opportunity to acknowledge not just a very special friend of the Capital Center, the Verizon Foundation, but also to point to what is clearly uh, you know, an exciting development with regard to where we are going in technology for the Capital Center. Uh, we are in the midst of, and really the embryonic stages of a distance learning campaign to raise significant funds, indeed, five million dollars over the next five years and its purpose is pretty straightforward we know that the future of training and opportunities for for the blind and visually impaired in many respects is grounded in distance learning so for those who cannot enjoy and experience all of the things we do in this place in a residential setting uh, and they need that information coming from a distance and through an online course program. We need to be sure that the quality of that program is equal to or at least close to what we do physically and in the presence of those who come here. And so that effort to build distance learning in a high quality way is of course what the gentleman to my right is all about. Um, and and uh, Brian Charlson in a moment I'll be introducing formally. But suffice to say that the distance learning campaign is one that embraces technology, recognizes its great opportunity. And frankly, the detail around it is how do we get these kinds of ideas built into a course and courses uh, that are going to really impact uh, uh, the people that we care about so much, their lives. And uh, it is ironic and I think appropriate that we are here today to accept a check from Verizon because, of course, one of the things that Brian has always talked to me about, certainly since, since I've been here, is we've got so much to do around cell phone use. We, we really have to get to the point of not just knowing products, but how to really use them. And I think all of us who have had our fears and challenges around technology, let's face it, products are, can all be good and low, and lights can go off. And, yes, go ahead, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Let's just say that it doesn't matter how good the equipment is, if you don't know how to use it, it just isn't worth it. And what this course is about is really getting folks who have these opportunities to use a Verizon product, for example, to know how to use it well and to really get all from it. And so with that, I want to say thank you uh, first and foremost to the Verizon uh, Foundation for their uh, donation of $10,000 to really get going off the ground our uh, distance learning specific to the cell phone uh, technology course, which Brian is about to demonstrate. And the other thing I want to say is that uh, I'd like to identify and ask him to come up, uh, the gentleman who is our fund development officer, the one who has been directing and working very closely with us in building uh, the overall uh, distance learning campaign. And that's Joe Quintanilla. Joe, come on. Although he does not have a speaking part in this brief program, no, I'm not talking about you, Joe. Uh, I do want to introduce some other person in the room. And this is the gentleman who has been really a rock when it comes to fund development and supporting financially and developing all the things that are necessary to strengthen the finances of this great facility, and that's uh, Bob Corbett. So, Bob, I want to acknowledge you. Uh, Bob is an experienced fund development man, and uh, he has been uh, the volunteer capacity and been guiding uh, the organization and, and heading the, the campaign, along with another gentleman I'd like to introduce, and that's Paul Sainer. Paul, member of the board, and also So for all the board members who are here, and some of us are going to run off from this to do a, a meeting, I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank uh, some of the staff who are here, acknowledge their presence, appreciate their good work each and every day. And uh, last but not least, I want to acknowledge Stephanie Lee. Stephanie, would you come up just for a moment? Um, just to be recognized first. And uh, we decided this little 
program, by the way, is going to end only in about uh, probably six minutes. So it's going to be quick, but here's what we're going to do, Stephanie. I'm going to introduce Brian now. He's going to do the stuff that he loves to do, which is show it all off. <laughs> and then we're going to bring you back up for the official check presentation. So don't lose it. Okay. <laughs> and Brian, I'm now going to officially pass to you this nice little microphone. Put it on. And uh, show us your magic. Let's see if you got the mic on. You got that part right. We're doing well. <laughs>